All right, you guys, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. She is at it again, apparently. And supposedly these blush and bronzer duos were not really made in Italy, but in fact made in America. And you might be like, huh? what yes apparently true sleuth puts out a video yesterday 24 hours ago and there is some surprising things under the label here so we're gonna take a look at it together so if you guys are ready let's do this <laughs> Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra and this is basically what we like to do on this channel. We like to review some things and we like to look into shit to try to figure out what's really going on. With that said, let's talk about Miss Jacqueline Hill because <laughs> you guys, I kind of feel like this poor girl, like I feel like she's kind of been put through the ringer a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. I know she's done some of it to herself. Obviously, she's made some mistakes. She hasn't been completely honest, completely transparent. She worked with Morphe, which that's just kind of asking for trouble these days. But I feel like because of all of that, everybody's like, you know what I mean? Like definitely looking at her under a microscope and kind of nitpicking at some things. And I mean, maybe she obviously should handle some things a little differently and just come out and let people know ahead of time because obviously people are going to do these types of things. Maybe she didn't know. I don't know. I'm really curious to see here what her answer for this is going to be. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, here recently, Jacqueline dropped the blush and bronzer duos. Now, with this collection, she also dropped highlighters, but the highlighters she had already released, like, I feel like she kind of did those as like a little taster, like a little teaser just to kind of see if people were going to buy them, if they were going to like the formula, if she was going to have problems with them or not. And then once they went off without a hitch, like, she never restocked them, though. You know what I mean? She just kind of been sitting on it until now and now she's re-released them in new packaging and there's more colors and and now there's blush and bronzers too now obviously i did purchase one of them and i did purchase this right from jacqueline hill's website and not from ulta just to let you guys know and with that i did experience some shipping issues and apparently i'm not the only one because there was a lot of other people talking about it on twitter and then i talked to the united states postal service and found out why and i was going to do an entire video on that but then <laughs> the truth sleuth actually released a video about 24 hours ago talking about that these might not actually be made in italy they might be made in america and where she's getting that from is apparently there's a little sticker here as you guys can see on the bottom of this package and somebody on twitter peeled the sticker up and underneath of it there's something that says made in america instead of made in italy and also apparently on the back of these so i'm not really for sure but i do have my little plastic razor blade thing here and i figured we would find out together what in fact is really going on so we're gonna go on a journey today you guys are you ready i hope you're ready all right so this is obviously what the blush and bronzer looks like here i'll just go ahead and show it to you guys oops it is super cute and i will say super super luxe i love this packaging i really do love this packaging it's very easy to open like if you have fingernails because i had nails yesterday don't have them now don't mind them right now they're in they're in an in-between phase you guys okay <laughs> but the packaging is very luxe i don't like how easy it is to get my fingerprints all over it but it is very heavy weighty packaging and i do like the direction she is going in with this and so far i've really enjoyed the product honestly which we're going to talk about that here in a minute but first i'm very curious to see what is going to be underneath these labels so in the name of my channel and for you guys we're going to destroy some some of my makeup's packaging okay all right let's do this okay so as we can see here we have the outside packaging and then the blush and bronzer duo here so uh first thing i guess we'll start with the outer carton packaging here and again i apologize my nails are not done but uh i didn't plan on <laughs> didn't plan on peeling some stuff off today Okay, so. Oh, it looks like there's some kind of writing underneath there. I don't think you guys can see that right there. Okay, 
Okay, so it says P and R consultant something. There it is, right there, you guys. Again, I apologize, my nails look like crud. Don't look at them, don't look at them. I haven't had time to paint them. But there it is, it does say made in the USA right there underneath the sticker there. So you guys can see, and then on the sticker, it obviously says made in Italy. Now, let's see about this on the back of this packaging. Oh, this is coming up way easier. Okay, so it doesn't look like, as you guys can see, there is anything underneath the label on the back of this packaging right there. Other than the label that just says what it is. Okay, I really hate messing with my labels. <laughs> you guys, I don't even know if you all realize how OCD I am about this kind of stuff. That's gonna drive me bonkers. Okay, and then let's see what's underneath this label right here. Okay, this one's coming up way easier too. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything underneath this label as well. And then I do have a friend that did purchase the um, highlighter from this collection, not the original like I did. And, um, and that's the other thing that was inside there. And she is going to be sending me pictures of what's underneath her labels as well. So as you guys saw it for yourselves, there is really something underneath the sticker there that does say that this was actually made in America versus made in Italy. Now, with that being said, I do want to put this out here because I feel like Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, her team, would be really stupid to do that. Like, I don't think that this product was actually made in America and they just put a sticker saying made in Italy. I'm just going to be upfront with you guys. And the reason I don't think that is because the FTC, and I think it was FTC, just find Truly Beauty a butt ton of money over their labeling and the fact that they lied on their labeling and said it was vegan and organic when come to find out it really wasn't. Like, they're on that crap. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like it would be really dumb for Jaclyn Cosmetics or Jaclyn Hill to do something like that and be that sloppy about it. You know what I mean? So... I find it a little hard to believe that this was actually made in America and just had a slap the sticker over it and said made in Italy, you know, like that's just me. And this is just my opinion. Now, you guys know me. Come to find out later on, Jaclyn Hill does get fined by the FTC or the government for, you know, faking her labeling. I will absolutely make a video and say otherwise, but I really don't think that's the case. I just think that because of the shady history that she has, because of her affiliation with Morphe, because of Lipstick Gate and everything else that's happened with her, that people are just nitpicking and they're just kind of, again, looking, you know, at everything under a microscope or a magnifying glass and, and a fine tooth comb and that'll be that. Now, as far as the actual blush and bronzer formula goes, I actually really like this, you guys, which is surprising because I did not think like that I was going to like it as much as I did. I honestly thought that I was going to buy this and end up not liking it and decluttering it or selling it or giving it to a friend or something like that. But I actually really like this. Um, I just I've only tried it a couple of times, but I will say the one thing about this is I actually got a little bit deeper than the color that I should have gotten, according to her description. Like according to her description, I am more light, especially right now. I don't have my self tanner on, so I lean a lot more towards light when I do have a self tanner, more light to medium and maybe even medium like in the summertime. And again, when I've like doubled up on my self tanner, but usually more towards light and then a little towards light to medium. So according to her description, I should have gotten the one with like the purple blush, but I didn't. I ended up going the next step up because I do have a neutral undertone. So this was the next step up, the sun kissed and bronze moment uh, for somebody that has a neutral undertone. Now the undertone, I think she's got on point. 100% I think this matched me very very well I really liked the way it went on and the blendability and all of that but I did have to build it up a little bit so I do see where people are saying with the swatches like you know oh this isn't swatching right 
This isn't an eyeshadow palette, first of all. This is a blush and a bronzer. Blush, not all blush and bronzers, especially uh, powder formulas, are like super pigmented right off the gate. Some of them you do have to build up, and I actually like mine to be that way. So if I just want to go in with a little bit of a light hand, I can, or if I want to go in a little bit heavier, I can. But overall, the undertone matched really well. The only thing I'm worried about is just when I do have my self tanner on or where I am in my tanner moments, am I going to be able to use this? Because this is, I would say, more light than light to medium, medium. You know what I mean? So do keep that in mind if you do decide to purchase one of her blush and bronzers that they are like a shade lighter than what they claim to be so if you're a neutral skin tone and you're light skinned I would go with this one right here the uh bronze moment in sun kiss now the blush is perfect it's on point I really really enjoyed it I mean it is what I have on it's not, I wouldn't say it's like staying any more or less than any other, you know, blush. Is this like a $36 moment? I think it's worth $36, especially with the packaging and everything and what you're getting, how much product you're getting. And I mean, the fact that, I mean, I've dipped into this a couple times and it doesn't even look like I have even touched it. So I definitely think this is going to last you for a hot moment. And if you're like a a person that likes these kind of compacts or you like having duos, I think you'll really enjoy this and you'll definitely be very, very happy with it. I do think she's going to have to add to the line because again, I do think the shades are a little off. So I'm kind of curious to see how the deeper shades are going to be on somebody with deeper skin tone. So I think she will have to add more shades in the future. But at right now, I think I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Very impressed, Jacqueline. Very, very impressed. And uh, I really, I really do like the packaging and I'm not, I'm not really worried or do I care about this. I think it's just, uh, they were trying to save money instead of having it actually printed on the packaging. I mean, we're in the middle of a pandemic right now. There's a lot going on. So I think they were just trying to save money. That's all I think those stickers were. I think, again, people are trying to read more into it than what they like to do but that's my opinion let me know your opinion down below because i'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about it because again i know there's a lot of jacqueline fans and there's a lot of people who are like oh she's at it again <laughs> you know what i mean so i definitely definitely see both sides of the story there that's all i have for you guys today for this video but stay tuned because i've got some big stuff coming so of course we got more updates with mandy um after we get her you know i want to get her a little further down the road and then of course we do have a boxy charm coming up and i think you guys are going to be very interested to see what i am learning about this month's boxy charm for sure and then we have a truly beauty of course that entire investigation and then somebody sent me their boxy charm brushes the ones that contain lead so we're going to be doing lead testing on those and i've got a lot of stuff planned for this month and next you guys so definitely if you have not subscribed yet already make sure you do because it's going to be a good time and i got a little special thing for you guys coming up very soon to have to do with all of these butterflies all over my room if you haven't noticed them I'm sure you have all right so until next time you guys see ya